Okay, in the corner, it says, this hangout is on the air. Live, live and in living color. Let me go over okay, here in the corner. Mute. It says, this hangout is on the air. Live. Ah. How is everybody? <laughs> Another Sunday. The week went so fast. And it's good to see everybody. Hi, Mona Lisa, Nadine, Tracy, um, Lisa, who's flipping crazy, and CT Attic Treasures, who's Darlene, and uh, Tanya's here, Thrifty Treasures. And um, let me see, uh, Tracy, I already said Tracy, right? Who else is here? Barb was first. If I missed anybody, hi. Thank you for coming. So, did you all see? Oh, hi, Sandra. Hi, Anna. Hi, Whitley's Wares. Hi, Yvonne. Well, they're, they're coming in now. Hey, hey, Carla. Hey, Sandra. Oh, I said hi to Sandra twice. No, that's two Sandras. I was right. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> anyway, how's everyone doing? Oh, there's Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Dawn must have came in quick before work. Hi, Angela. Okay. Yay. So, um, welcome to my channel, uh, Treasured Vintage, and where I do mostly hauls, and I have an Etsy shop. It's called Dazzled by Vintage. If I remember, I'll put it in the uh, description or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Jeanette. And welcome to the new people that are here. I'm glad you joined. And um, you might want to catch my video on my Napier collection that I just did. I just uploaded yesterday. It's a two-part. And uh, I show the book, the Napier book, and the pieces that I have that are in the book. So um, it doesn't take long to watch those two videos. They're not real long. Um, but I want to show you first, um, well, before I do that, I want to shout out uh, Flippin' Crazy is uh, a new friend of mine. She she has a channel, and um, she just introduced herself on her on her relatively new channel. She has 100-some subs, so go over and subscribe to her, and uh, you all, you know what to do. Subscribe to each other. Um, so you can, you know, get a bunch of subs. Um, there's Lydia, my friend, and Fran, my friend, and Neville. How you doing, Neville? Okay, so I want to show uh, the sales that I had overnight. Hi, Cracky. <laughs> so if you watched the live uh, thrifting that I did with my friend Patty, the last one that I did, uh, we were in a new um, antique mall and it was a pretty long video and I was filming the whole time I was looking and I was looking at jewelry and I was really on the fence. Hi Kathleen. I was on the fence about getting this ring and I'm glad I got it because it just sold overnight. I think I bought it for I think it was five or four or five and uh, it sold for 39 overnight. Um, I just listed it yesterday. It's really pretty though. It's it's like a faux ruby and the color is so true to a ruby color. I mean, it's like simulated ruby. And then these stones around here, I don't know if you can tell, but they're green. And it's just a really, really nice ring. It really looks pretty on the hand too. So I sold that last night. I paid for that whole trip, pretty sure. And um, yeah, that ring's really pretty. And this ring I really love too. And the same person bought this ring. And thank you. If I think the person watches my videos. So um, thank you so much. And I'm going to send something extra um, because you're a repeat buyer. And I so appreciate that. So I'll be sending you a little something extra. She bought this ring too which is a really nice ring. Um, this one I bought at the antique mall near here. 
and I think I got it for four, but it sold for $29. Um, I love that gray kind of moon glow stone in there. It's a really nice statement ring. And I just, I don't know, that color just makes the ring. The color really makes the ring because it's so subtle and it's really nice. So, so they were my sales last night. Um, hi, Jennifer. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Christy. And everybody that just came in. Thanks for coming. Um, so that's that. I found some pretty cool things. Um, well, Friday, I went to the church to volunteer, do some stuff. And um, so I made use of that trip. I went thrifting afterwards. There's two thrift stores near the church. One of them is Salvation Army, and one of them is Dressed to a T. So I made my way to Salvation Army first. Found some pretty cool things. Did I find Monet there? I think I found the Monet earrings there. I found like six pieces of Monet. Um, Tracy said I need to purchase my reserves. I forgot on all the things going on lately. Oh, that's okay. Um, Tracy, at the Salvation Army, was that at Salvation Army? No, that was at the, I went to three places. Let me show the Monet stuff first. Doesn't really matter where I got it. I mean, I don't need to tell you where I got each thing or anything, but let me just share the Monet. A silver tone. Really cool Monet. It's not in the book. But it's really nice. It's the one, it's got this kind of a little dangle on it, like that. And it was $2. Very pretty, just perfect condition. And that when I was at this store, this was the retirement home store. And when I was there, the lady said, oh, the, she just got this stuff out. She just put it out. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. A blessing. Maybe maybe it was for going to the church and doing some volunteer work. I, I got a blessing. <laughs> I don't know. Could have been. But then it could have not been, you know. But I thanked him anyway. Anyway, that was a steal. Yeah. Hey, Swampy. Two dollars. Yep. Um, let's see. And then this, I got it dressed to a T. It's a Monet piece too. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. And I thought perhaps it would be in the book because I knew there was some of these wide bracelets in the book, but it wasn't in there. Very similar ones, but not this one. So I believe this is probably a seventies piece. Of Monet with a really nice with the safety chain and it was a uh, two dollars also <coughs> my reward <laughs> yeah I, you know there's always there's always blessings from doing stuff like that always and I don't do it for that but I mean I don't know it's just a blessing to do something like that and not even have anything coming i just love to do it so and here's another bug monet pin it was two also um <coughs> and now i have like i think four of the bugs they're called the monet menagerie and i have the bee and i have another butterfly and i have the dragonfly and i have this one and i have a white enamel one so i have a good many of these now So there's that. So that's three Monet. And then this was a dollar, I think. It's it's a very pretty and perfect, perfect condition. Enamel Monet bangle. Um, 
Well, how'd I get a chip on my fingernail already? I just did those last night. Hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. If I did, hi. These were a quarter or 25 cents. Oh, yeah. A quarter or 25 cents. One of those. No. A quarter or 50 cents. <laughs> they're Monet clip ones. And they're older. And I thought maybe they'd be in the book, but they aren't. Thanks for saying thumbs up there, Anna. Thank you. Um, but they're, they've got some, a little bit of wear to the back and around the edge here, but all in all, they're in pretty nice shape. And I'd say they're seventies too, possibly sixties. It's got that old Monet with the round O. I know that the Monet that has this Monet in the block letters with the round O, I think are older than the Monet that's elongated O. At least that's what I, found so i like those i will send a big box of assorted hugs from england do i get any bum crack okay i see christy and tracy get some what about me what about me over here i get any i get any of your love cracky i get any cracky love <laughs> crack love <laughs> Hi, Terry Ross. How are you? And I got this. Well, let me think. How much was this? I think it was a dollar. It was a dollar. I don't think it was two. Or was it? No, wait. I got that at Salvation Army. It might have been It might have been 50 cents or a dollar. I don't know. We all want some... We all want crack hugs. <laughs> we all want cracky hugs. Cracky love. <laughs> yeah, she, Tracy get get like a really close hug because she's in England too. Hi, uh, Hedron. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, check these out. I really didn't realize that Chico's, um, I knew they were good, you know, pretty good costume jewelry. And this is, these are very nicely made and very pretty. Um, they, they had it on a card. The card says $25. So they are, they are nice, nice earrings there. I mean, I, I don't go to retail stores ever. And I should just to do some research because I don't know what things are going for. They, you know, I could be selling things super cheap in my shop and stuff's going for a whole, whole lot of money. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, Granny Joe. <laughs> and I like this. I mean, I don't know if you could put that on a hat or what you could do with that, but it was a dollar and I wasn't going to leave it because I just, you can tell it's old, possibly 50s, you know, maybe even earlier because this, this design here just tells me it's old. Um, it's very cool though, isn't it? Very cool. I like it. It's very nice condition. That was a dollar. I might wear that. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. You wear it like a different spot, you know, start a trend, wear it up here on your shoulder, or, you know, no. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I need to sell some of these because I have like a growing amount of these particular type things, which are shoe clips. Uh, but these were navy blue and they had this little chain on and I couldn't resist them. They look like little envelopes with this gold chain on. Um, they're really, really cute. So these were a dollar. So I couldn't resist those either, I like those. Then I got this contents of this bag here for a dollar. 
Looks like a French horn. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look like that, but it it's kind of like a leaf. It looks like nature. I mean, it looks like a plant of some kind, like a leaf of some kind. So in that bag was this pretty bracelet and uh, the clasp, you know, looked it looked to me like, you know, a sterling clasp. That's how they look sometimes, that flattened lobster claw like but it's not sterling, but it's still pretty. Still a pretty little beaded bracelet. And then this one, which I I liked because I like the different, all different colors, the cabochons. It just kind of says 80s to me. And I like the different colors in it. And just some other random things that aren't aren't really much at all. Some, some you know, type of these type of things. Little little earrings that have beads on were in there with the, the two bracelets were what I really wanted. So for a, a dollar, you know, and all this other stuff in there, I thought that was a good deal. Oh, and one of these things, which I have, I have a bunch of these too. A bunch of these things too, which I don't know what to do with. These stainless steel things. I guess they were popular at one time. Grape, a grape. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. The swirl, the, the rounded part reminds you of a grape, doesn't it? At least that part does. Twirly part. Okay. Um, take a break from the jewelry and show you this cool handbag. Isn't that pretty? It's navy blue. It was $2. Um... I never, I've, I've picked up vintage handbags before, but I've never gotten one that's, that's had this, you know, filigree at the top, this metal, and actually has marcasites in it up here. But there is uh, at least one missing. I don't know. I don't know if there was some in here or not, but there's one missing right up here. But still, I think it's really cool. And the metal is like, you know, I don't know if it, it was supposed to be all, silver or what but it's kind of a silver up here and then a gold down in here i don't know but it's neat and then here's how you open it you push you push here kind of put push and pull at the same time that rod there comes out you can tell it's really old it did at one time have this you love that kathleen it is pretty isn't it it had this attached to that chain. I could probably fix that with a little bit of, uh, you know, patience. I could probably fix that chain and attach that again. And that would go in the slip pocket, I think. It goes in there somewhere. But it's in very, very nice condition. Does not smell. It's not even faded or anything. The only thing is up here that, you know, it has some wear on it up there. So I'll have to do some research and see what to sell that for. And it has like opens up down there like that. So it puts a good bit of stuff in it. Hi, Selena. And then I couldn't resist this. I don't know if it'll sell. I don't know how quick it'll sell. I think sometime it will, but it's really different. It's it's like ceramic, maybe. I'm not really sure that what it's made of. It's not really glass. I think it's like ceramic, but it's it's a very old picture frame, right? And see the back of it has the easel and everything. I got this a Salvation Army for two dollars. I never saw any like it. Um Got the plastic or vinyl. Well, I guess it's like a plexiglass, maybe, covering inside here. And it's just, just cool. 
you know, that'd be good for kids' school pictures or something, right? Or your pets or whatever. So we'll see. Have to look up and see if there's any like that on, uh, you know, on eBay or Etsy. I don't know if there's anything like that or not. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it feels like a plate. That's what it feels like. And it, yeah, it's, it's neat, isn't it, Selena? I like it. And, yeah, Fran said it looks like a movie reel. Yep, it does. It does. Hi, Lynn. So I have one more box. And it has some more goodies in. I think I'm done with the Monet. I think. I think I showed you all of that. Got this. At Salvation Army and another Damascene necklace for two dollars. And they sell they sell pretty well, especially the ones that are different saw different shapes. And uh, this is a nice shape rather than the, the circle, I think. And it's in really nice condition. It's an actual, you know, genuine type damascene it's not the faux it's the real thing and you know i can't thank you yeah it is a nice one i can't uh resist sparkles these were 50 cents they just have glittery stars in and they're lucite um clips so very cool. Hmm. I burnt myself on the neck today with my curling iron, and I'm like, surely nobody would think that was a hickey, right? I'm too old for a hickey. But I'm like, I'm covering it up anyway, because I don't want anybody to say, she's got a hickey. She has gray hair and a hickey. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> uh, you can't see it because I covered it up. <laughs> um, no, they, you know, that was long ago. Long ago and far away. <laughs> can't remember when. <laughs> You did that to your forehead in high school. You did. Well, how did you do that? Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, how did you get a hickey on your forehead in high school? <laughs> I was like, that's just wrong. But now I know you made your curling eye. <laughs> oh, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> hey, Tara. <laughs> This is a, from what I can see, a real cameo. It was a dollar. I got this at the retirement home uh, thrift store. What I mean by real is, I guess, I mean shell, shell cameo. It's, uh, you can, you can see through it. It's, you know, you put it up to the light and it's, you can see through it and it, feels cold and feels like a shell so i'm pretty sure and the and the the surrounding is is another giveaway that it is you know an old shell cameo type <laughs> you laid one across your lap but you didn't have jeans on can we say ouch oh yeah we well you haven't lived till you got on a motorcycle and and burnt your your thigh on that, on that, on a triumphs, you know, I don't know if they still have triumph 500s or whatever. It was a big motorcycle. It was my brother's, the big pipe. I burnt my leg on that and man, did that ever hurt? I mean, the, the mark was about that big. And I always did stuff like that when I was a kid. I did dumb stuff. I was always hurting myself. You have to go? Okay. Bye-bye. I'm going to be thinking of you. Let me know what the results are and everything, and I'm going to be praying for good results for Sonny, okay?
Bye, Tracy. Bye. The, exa the exhaust manifold. Yeah, that was it. You did it too. I guess it's kind of a common thing. You just have to be really careful on those motorcycles. You burned your foot on one of those. It hurt. Yeah. Here's another Shell Cameo, which it was a dollar also. This is the first one of these that I think I've ever had. I have a little abalone cam uh, cameo that I just listed. It's real tiny. It's on a chain. It's a pendant. Um, but I have never had any of the real shell ones that unless I had one long ago and didn't even know it and sold it like on eBay or something. But um, this one. And it also has a little ring on it for a pendant. And it's it's got a roller clasp. But this other one here has a C clasp, I think. Yeah, that one's got the C clasp. But this one has the roller clasp. I just pretty much got this because it was a dollar and there were no stones missing. And I thought it was pretty. Um, you don't often see one of these with baguettes in it and everything and no stones missing. It's not signed or anything, but I thought it was pretty. The stones are, for the most part, all clear. There's no yellowing. Um, so it's a nice looking, a nice looking rhinestone pin. Yeah, I thought they were good finds too. I scarfed them right up for a dollar a piece. Maybe somebody can tell me. I have my suspicions about this necklace. I just thought it was pretty, so I got it, and I thought it looked like sterling, which it is. Um, I think I know that it's like some kind of a necklace somebody would buy that has their kids' like initials on it and maybe their birthstones or something. Um, it's really cute, though. I mean, I think I would wear it wh whether it's meant to be that or not. Um, I like the dingle dangles. <laughs> Adam's not here, so he won't mind me saying dingle dangles. But <laughs> um, it's got these wired uh, briolet type uh, pendants. And then on these, there's letters like J. And the letters make no sense. So I'm thinking they're the name, the initials of the kids' names or something. A J and a C and an R. And then the three colors, green, red, and blue. So I don't know. Would that be your guess? Hi, Perla. Would that be your guess, guys? That that might be the whoever bought that or somebody bought it for their mother or something or mother's day or it it does look kind of artisan made but i thought that might be what it was but it's it's nice it's sterling and i think it's pretty with the different colors lydia said yes i bought these because i think they were 50 cents and i have the uh I think I have the bracelet or the necklace or something that goes with it. These are Sarah Coventry Sabrina. Um, that's the name of the set, Sabrina. Or the, the collection or whatever. I think, I would think that, yeah. Lynn says no. Hmm, I don't know. Um, I'm looking for the letter A. And the letter M. Well, that's my initial, Selena. A M. <laughs> uh, okay, Swamp. See ya. Thanks for stopping in. I think that's right. It's pretty. Okay. And I have seen these before. In fact, I think my mom or somebody had one. Um, uh, 1776 coin. Um. A coin necklace. It's pretty though. It's nice and silver, silvery, sparkly, and it was uh, two dollars. Made a mistake on on these. Shouldn't have got these, but they were only fifty cents. But 
I I don't know why I didn't see what you can plainly see on there. I don't know why I didn't see that. You have a gold one like that. Oh, okay. But see, I don't know what happened there, but that's not good. So I'm not going to sell those. I don't know. They're not in good shape. I don't know why I got them. I think I really saw that filigree, and I really liked that, and I and I just picked them up, and then I was probably looking at something else at the same time and picked it up, and then just they ended up, I ended up getting them anyway. Luckily, they were only 50 cents. You make mistakes like that often. We get excited. Yeah. I was watching your um, video, Tanya, about the uh, when you went to the yard sale and you got that bug. You got the bug. That made me think of this. I have this. I got a scorpion. I got a scorpion in a keychain, Tanya. I don't know if it's as cool as yours, but I'm keeping it too. I like those kind of things. But I really like the way you did that video, the way you did the voiceover. I'm sure it took took time to do that. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't like cranking a video out really fast, but that is the way to do like yard sale videos. That is perfect. I mean, it just it just makes it so much nicer to watch because you know, you're pointing out stuff and saying, I almost got this and I didn't get this and, you know, why you, why you passed something and why you didn't and all that. I thought the video was excellent. So thanks for doing them that way. Oh, Asher and my granddaughter McKinley. Oh, okay. I love those names. Asher, I love that name. These are little fish. One's upside down, but they were a dollar. They're scatter pins, and they're in really good shape. Um, they're enamel, and they have little, like, aqua-colored stones in their eyes. They're really cute. You can see they're two little scatter pins, two separate little pins. I thought so, too, Nadine. Perfect. I'm really enjoying those videos. This kind of reminded me of Pierre Beck's. Um, he makes jewelry like this, but it, I don't think it is. Not sure. There's no no signature or anything like that, and it's it's really kind of crudely made. Not sure, but um, this is the type of thing you would see of his <clears throat> and I've sold a pair of earrings I think that it was his but if you look up um, B -E -X, Pierre B-E-X I think it is um, they go for some of them go for pretty good money but I like that and it was only uh, I think it was a dollar well I don't know I lost my mind again here was another fail well, kind of a fail and maybe not. I mean, I think maybe I can sell it, but the girl told me this needs a battery. And what? why wasn't I thinking that it doesn't need a battery because it's a wind-up watch and it doesn't work. But the Scarab's got me. It's a Scarab watch and it's a Ben Russ. It's a really good watch. But And I thought at the time it was sterling, but it's not sterling. But it's a very nice uh, maker. Ben Russ is a pretty good maker. It's very vintage -y. It's very cute. But it doesn't work. And it's a wind-up watch. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> I don't know. And it's not like you can just do the bra a bracelet because it's got this back here. You know, it's got that deal going right there. Guess what I could do? Is take the watch part off and just sell this. Just sell the, the band. I could do that. I bet that would sell too. Just the, the scarab band. Because it's nice scarabs. It's a really nice band. I could probably sell that band by itself. Yeah. It's cool. I think I'll do that. 
Susan said she's going to buy it from me. Just the whole watch. Well, um, get a hold of me. Um, send me a message on here or that's always such a, cause I don't, I don't really like to share my email cause I only have one. It's like, I don't have a slush one, just a slush two. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, Roberta Sandridge would buy it too. You're collecting scarabs for a project, please. Um, it's right twice a day. You're right, Roberta. I got some really pretty little rings. Um, this one I really like. They are, some of them say uh, 925, and some of them are 14 karat gold electroplate. This one is 14 karat gold electroplate, and it's so pretty. I think it's got a citrine uh, colored stone there, and then like little rhinestones or faux diamonds. It's really pretty in its design, and I just think it's it's really nice. It's probably about a seven and a half. It's made really good. And these rings were a dollar a piece. Um, this one says 925 in it and something else. So it's gold over sterling. Um, this one's really pretty too. It's got baguettes and a, I guess it's a faux emerald stone there. Baguettes and rounds. It's cute. Barbie Crafts loves scarabs. This little band is marked um, sterling. I don't know why they just put this stuff out it was you know I guess they couldn't see I don't know but they just put them out for a dollar but they're marked inside it's a nice sterling band this one's really cool this was black I mean it was I wiped it with uh, my polishing cloth it was totally black it is a very old Sarah Coventry um, sterling faux emerald or faux ruby I guess ring faux or garnet faux garnet whatever but what's cool about it is it's it's adjustable and how it adjusts is the one part of the band i don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not the one part of the band just slides in behind the stone there's like a little area right there a little a little hole where the part where the band can come in and out of that little slot and it's adjustable it's made super well made super nice and it's a sterling Sarah Coventry so that's nice I got some good stuff this weekend I'll see you Dawn thanks for coming have a good day at work I know. I like. I really. I, I wonder why they don't make adjustable rings that way. I mean, it's such a good design. It's so ingenious, and it's better than the way they normally make them because you can't see it at all. Um, here is a really nicely made. Uh, this one says P A J, and I've seen that before. I think it's you know it's gold plated. It's really pretty though. It's almost a believable. You know, pretty much believable ring, believable diamond. Um, I like the design on pear, pear shapes. And it looks really good. Looks very nice. And another one. It's a marquee. This one's marked, I don't know, lots of little marks and markings in it. That's really pretty too. 
and another one. This one's Mark 925. Great finds. Thank you. That's just a, that's a really believable one, too, as far as the size and everything, you know. It's not like one of these giant ones that, see, that you see and you go, um, okay. Okay, that's real. Sure it is. <laughs> um, but if I saw that, somebody wearing that, I'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't even question. That's, that's real. So that's the rings that I got. I got this really cool bracelet. I love clear stones. They, yeah, I, I don't pick them up very much unless they're like like this, like 925 or, you know, like really pretty or because they don't, I don't think they, I think they tend to sit. They're kind of long tail, but um, I thought those were really nice and the price was definitely right. So this is really pretty. This is a, a bracelet with a book chain and filigree fold over clasp i think it's cute very nice definitely a vintage piece i think that's a, probably a it's really it's a real stone i don't know i guess it's probably a real tiger's eye in there it feels like it's, you know, it's cold to the touch. So I think it's probably a real tiger's eye. That's really pretty, right? Yeah. Very pretty bracelet. That was, uh, I want to say two. And, and here's just one of these. I don't know why I picked it up. I, I can't resist these with the gold around the edge and stuff. I, I liked it, and the chain was nice. It's got a nice long chain. It's in very nice condition. Um, so I guess that's agate or something. Lisa can tell me she knows. Uh, she knows stones. Is that agate, Lisa, or or is that jasper? Hi, Jennifer Gatton B. You're on your way to Minnesota from Chicago. So your trip's done already, huh? Adam's here. Adam, where have you been? I missed you. Adam, you know I come on at 1.30, right? Eastern. You know that's my time slot, don't you? I want to know one question. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty i like the colors in that it's very neat what is that uh, lisa oh they had a jewelry exhibit cool you're bad i know you're bad oh i was wrong i do have another piece of monet this necklace was two it's just a uh, this is what I have in my notes for PAJ, Prime Art and Jewel Manufacturers. Many clients since 1976. Belinda, thanks. I think I have that in my notes somewhere, too, because I have some jewelry. In, th in fact, I have a necklace that's my own that has that on it. Thank you. So here's just a plain, kind of a big, open link Monet chain, silver tone. Yeah, I like the long necklaces, too. I wear them a lot. Now, if you ever find the necklace that is on, that's beaded, and it's on an actual chain, that's really a sign of a nice quality piece. And that's why I got this, because I think it looks, it looks rich. I wouldn't be surprised if, the, if there was, wasn't some kind of a maker's dangled, you know, some kind of a hang tag or something on this at one time because it's a really nice necklace it's see it's beaded and it's on a chain the beads are on a chain and it's it's vintage they don't make the beads on chains anymore that i know of 
um, that's a really quality, very pretty necklace. Really rich looking. It was two dollars. Adam, oh thanks. Thank you for the super chat, Adam. I will definitely get the puppies a treat. Thank you. You're sweet. I didn't mean to guilt you into a super chat. <laughs> and let's see, I have just like two more pieces. I only have a couple more pieces, Adam. Then I'm done. Maybe three. Maybe four more. Let's see. Um, not sure why I got these. I guess because they were 50 cents. But they are porcelain and they just have a little scene on them. Uh, a courting couple type of scene. And then I got this little musical instrument. And it's uh, cloisonne. Or it's kind of it's enamel. So I don't know if it's like a what the what the instrument is. It's got a bent. And I guess that's supposed to be bent there. I don't know. That's bent for any purpose or what. But there it is. Is that Picasso Jasper? Oh wow. Is that what that was? I like that. I like the name of it. Picasso Jasper. Okay, these earrings are, check them out. I'm pretty sure they're sterling because they're that color of sterling that has is old and nobody's done anything with them. They came in this little box, very old box. See what that says? Crafted from Pennsylvania hard coal. C O A L. Coal. So they look like onyx, but they're actually coal from Pennsylvania. And that really looks like sterling to me and spun silver. So I, I like that they were in the box and I like that it said they were made from coal. And uh, well, let me see, they may be okay. The all right, they're not sterling, they look like sterling, unless it's just. Unless it's just this part that keeps catching the the bezel, the uh, the setting, the scallop setting. Let me look at the backs of them. No, they're not sterling. They're very, they're very attracted to the magnet, but they're very cute. I like them. I think they're very pretty. Nice size and a nice design. The earrings with the crack with the couple are the same size as the pair with the crack with the pretty filigree edges. Well, I don't get what you're saying at all. Um yeah, Belinda, I, don't, I'm, I probably missed a crack and everything. I don't get what you're saying at all. But anyway, <laughs> you'll have to tell me later or else I'll see it later. Toll road time. Ah, uh, okay. I might be gone when you come back, Jennifer. Okay, what, 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 what is it? Is it a, is it a watch fob thing? What is it? I had to have it. But I'm not sure what it is. It was a dollar fifty. This part here looks old to me. This looks like a. I mean, I don't think it's super super old. But um, 
Just the mesh and the... This looks like some kind of a faux stamp. And then it's on this chain. Does it have something to do with the pocket watch? You're so far out in the country. What do you do with it? Is it a pocket pocket watch fob thing you do? It's a necklace. It's a bookmark. It's a watch fob. I thought it was a watch fob, yeah. Yeah. What's this go in the pocket or something? And I don't know how these things work, but that's what I thought it was. But I think it might sell. I don't know. It's a fob for a watch, yeah. See, I don't know. I, I'd be tempted to take this part off here and just sell it. Because this, this is obviously newer metal. It doesn't go with this. But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with it. The hook thingy may slot into the other end. No, not really. <coughs> it's oriental. Hmm. It looks Art Nouveau to me. It's the, looks Art Nouveau, the lines of it. It'll sell. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I think it'll sell. I hope. So what else? I, I've got one more, one more pair, and I can't resist these. They don't sell, and I have a bunch of them. I mean, I don't. I don't know that they don't sell, but because I really haven't listed what I do have of them. <laughs> but whenever I see something that like is really nice quality and it's red and gold, I get it. <laughs> but these were 50 cents and they are just super quality. They are really, really nice. They look brand new. Um, they are not signed. Friendly Flea, thank you. Thank you very, very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, they are not signed, but they're very pretty. And so I really should list them. Question, are all these from the Antique Mall? No, they're from three different places, um, Adam. They're from Salvation Army, a thrift shop called Dress to a T, and another, and the, retirement home place that I go to every once in a while. So there, at Friday, I, I was out and about, so I went to three places. You might have the same Napier Week design necklace. Your grandma had friends that were jewelry designers that sometimes gave her samples that might not have made the book finds. Oh, wow, Kathleen. If you had that necklace, wow, that'd be cool. Not to sell is too unique. Yes, thank you, friendly. I've never ever gotten two super chats in one uh, show before. In fact, Adam is the only person that's ever given me a super chat before. So I got a super chat from somebody else besides awesome Adam. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Um. So that is it, everybody, for another week. Um, I still am planning on doing the ephemera um, video. That's in the works. I know I said I'd do it last week or the week before. I don't know. I have everything laid out, the pictures of my dad and my brothers at the uh, Philmont uh, Scout Camp, uh, my dad's Order of the Arrow notebook. All these little funny notes he put in there. Adam, wow, thanks. Adam just added another super chat. Thank you, Adam, for another $2. You didn't have to do that. But, um, yeah, the the scouting ephemera um, video is to come. So thank you so much. What a great day. Oh, my gosh, Jennifer Gattensby. Oh my gosh, what a blessing today. 
Thank you so much. Jennifer Gattensby gave me a super chat of $5. Thank you. Man, I am feeling rich. I not only got very, very good uh, deals at these thrift stores this week, um, just totally blessed today. Totally blessed. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. Hopefully, I'll have uh, a video coming out this week. All y'all subscribe to each other. Um, have a great Sunday and uh, hugs. Group hug, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye for now.